this tailspin of culture in, in our inner cities in particular of men not working and just generations of men not even thinking about working, we're learning the value and the culture of work. Well, let's be clear. I never said anything about black people. I said inner city people. I'm just trying to help poor people be less lazy. And the liberal media tries to spin this into some uh, racist witch hunt. Uh, oh, uh, Jelly Bean, I love them, except these inner city ones. Black ones, I'm not making this stuff up, you know. I I've done my research. The inner city is a scary place. But you know, it's funny too. We gotta do something about the obesity epidemic. It's out of control. What about this DVD? This? I thought this was something else. I mean, you name a movie, The Inner City Stallion. It's the Black Stallion. What's most important is the kids. Children today don't have a sense of what it's like to hold down a job. So we're working on a children's book. It's called Sammy, The Inner City Kitty. Wait, which one is Sammy and which one is Gary? Oh, uh, Sammy's the inner city cat and Gary's the white cat. Gary is hard at work. He's got his briefcase. He's getting to work on time. He's making sure he's on time. And Sammy's lazy, so he can't hold down a job. And uh, it's never Gary's fault. You work hard, you get ahead, uh, and you're not from the inner city, uh, you're going to be fine. People don't like to talk about it, but America's in crisis. Uh, we have to do something to stop it. Our economy's dying. Our cities are dying. Pick up a newspaper if you can find one. It's right there in inner city and white. But I like to think we're not dead. I like to think we're just in hibernation like this inner city bear. I think you mean black bear. Pretty sure you're supposed to say inner city bear, but I know what you mean. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, how do you take your coffee? Uh, do you have almond milk? I'm sorry, no. I'll take a Negro.